Hello and welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about the FX layer device, which became very famous through the 600 layer samurai technique. And that's a reason you always should question things a tutorial wants to tell you. But let's get started. Okay. Um, here I have prepared a little song that sounds like this. And so on and so forth. And for this song I load an FX a layer device. It's a container device. And um, in the default state the FX layer, let me just load the help page with the F1, is just this box with a layer list and there's uh, one layer uh, inside there to let the original sound through and with this plus sign you can add some more effects. And there's a gain knob because more effects add more loudness so you have to correct that normally. If you want to, or if you don't want to, you don't have to. And there's a mix like a dry mix knob. So that's everything about the FX layer, and that's all about the tutorial. <laughs> okay, now let's let's uh, use some effects. So first, I will load a reverb. And this reverb, I put the mix knob on hundred percent because um, this FX layer is something. You can compare with those FX layers, the S1 effect effect track. But the FX layer is doing that in your device section down here. So um, if you have a synthesizer or like uh, I do at the moment, uh, a sample, um, you just can put it in here and put all effects you, you want to put on top on that, for example. Uh, delay 2 and another one maybe, whoops, um, oh, why, bit crusher, and I don't know what else. So what I have now is here um, um, this FX layer with the original, let me type in original sound, then a reverb, then a delay with mix knob and detuned on and the bit 8 with mix knob completely on and some default settings. Okay, so I mute all this so I have only the original. Now look at the uh, volume meter, um, how loud this thing is. <laughs> Minus 19.6 and if I add now all the effects you see it will get louder. So it added like 9 dB. I should normally dial in minus 9 dB and go back on the track so you see it and reset it here it's a little bit oh no it's 19.6 so that that would be the case if i do nothing to those effects every change on an effect or on a, on a device um, can possibly change the loudness of, of something so and um, one thing about the FX layer many people um, don't see is you have all these little volume meters and when you click on that you can configure it on here on that side but there's a more comfortable view on on this FX layer um, for example if you press here on the mixer panel or press M you see here the track name and you can fold that or open that FX layer. So like, like a drum machine, for example. And now you have all effects, or all lanes, all tracks of that or layers of that FX layer uh, in, a, in a nice overview. I could configure that a little bit, maybe put um, on the reverb a little bit more so it's more obvious 
what I'm doing and the bit eight maybe as well more more distortion <laughs> You could do even parallel compression on a, on the drums, for example. And dial that in like you would dial it in with the send knob here. Just this one. Or for example, if I don't want to use this view, I just press the top key and I'm directly here in this overview where I can fold the whole FX layer as well. Yeah, that's all about the FX layer. So you can put effects on, on top of each other and dial them in and um, uh, dial down the gain or dial it up or use the mix try if you want to dial it slowly in or you, you only want to have a little bit of those effects if i if i deactivate the original sound now i have a, um, a real dry wet knob for all those effects This is 50% dry signal and 50% wet signal. And this is only the wet signal then with all these settings and loudness. For example. And if I add that original um, signal layer again, I always have the original signal with me. But that's really now everything about the FX layer. I hope you liked it. If yes, please support me by leaving a comment. Maybe um, I have a lot of other German tutorials. Maybe um, you want to have another German tutorial uh, that is not available in English right now. Uh, just tell me, comment on this video. And I hope uh, to see you soon again. So stay healthy and bye bye.